Hello, this is Russ Walden with Father's Heart Ministry. And guess what this is? This is the daily prophetic word. Remember 2 Chronicles 2020. We misquote that. I've seldom ever heard it quoted properly. It doesn't say believe in the prophecies, so shall you prosper. It says believe in the prophets, so shall you prosper. There's a difference. Because the power of the prophetic is not in the prophet who sees what is on the horizon, but in the prophet's words who bring what is on the horizon. And that is the prophetic influence that he's bringing into your life this day. Words that will not fall to the ground because the Lord won't allow it. The Father says today, I see you wrestling with the sense of isolation. You yearn for family. A chosen family built on mutual respect and love. For remember, I set the solitary in families, but these families aren't always what we envision. Sometimes I place you in the lives of others or others in yours for their benefit, not necessarily for your own immediate happiness or gratification. This doesn't lessen the importance of boundaries. There are relationships, well-meaning as they may be, that will deplete your spirit if allowed to overstep their bounds. These become illegitimate authorities in your path, dictating misdirection as to what I'm planning to do. Learn to walk in love, but on my terms, not theirs. Setting healthy boundaries will bring clarity and relief, and you felt a heaviness, a burden for situations beyond your control. This isn't about isolation, but a calling to be a watchman. I ask you to do the same as that great intercessor by the name of Reese Howells, who stood in the gap through prayer and nations were changed. Your prayers likewise will uplift those that are struggling, helping them to find their voice. Embrace this role as one who stands in the gap, the role of an intercessor, a powerful tool in my hand. There's a season of travel for you on the horizon, not for leisure, but for divine assignments. Remember, Jesus sent his disciples out two by two. You are called to collaborate, to connect with others, and to become a facilitator of their dreams. Your will also be realized, yours will also be realized as you draw out their highest desires. Don't be discouraged by the timing of things. My answer is never truly late. But always remember that the timing is often negotiable in that which I prepare to do. Even as Jacob negotiated with me and Abraham negotiated with me and Paul negotiated with me, those negotiative prayers that you hold close and there are prayers marked sooner rather than later, pray those prayers with unwavering faith. There is a prayer that functions according to your faith as a blank check offered to you without reservation. Have the wisdom to know it and to see it and to act on it according to bringing my glory and not your personal gratification. However, understand that with this freedom, with this authority, with this prayer comes great responsibility. The fear of the Lord isn't about doubting my willingness to answer, but about understanding the bigger picture. Sometimes I answer prayers, but the outcome wasn't always what was expected. This is because my blessings enrich and bring true joy and not sorrow. For I am not a reluctant giver, says the Father. I so loved that I give, gave. Giving is my base nature. Let giving be your base nature. You don't need to overcome my resistance to move in your life because I have none. My desire is to give you good gifts. So examine the deepest desires of your heart and know that I've given, I've planted those desires for the ache in your heart is the prophecy over your life. I plant those desires within you for a reason. Be honest with you, yourself about what you truly long for, then pursue it with all your heart. Trust that I am leading you on the path to greater fulfillment, says the Father. Now, what do you do with the word like this? You mix it with faith. You make a choice to remember that Jesus said that the kingdom of God does not come with observation. So 
passively observing a word or pondering a word will get you nowhere. You need to take the word and activate it by your faith. And one of the most powerful ways to get an abject unbelief or absolute faith is in the area of giving. Mix this word with some faith by sowing into its very fulfillment in your life. You see, it, the faith that it takes to give into a prophetic word is equivalent to the faith involved in bringing that very word to pass in your situation. Ask me how I know. Act now, because your response time in giving is a metric for God's timing in bringing this breakthrough to pass in your situation. Go to fathersheartministry.net, click on the donation button, and let your faith soar. The mailing address is Father's Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 14127, Springfield, Missouri, 65814. Or you can text the word PROFIT to 44321. If you use Cash App, dollar sign prophetic now. If you use Zelle, prophetic now at gmail.com. I want you to know that I am here to be the prophet in your life. 2 Chronicles 20.20 20 says, If we believe the prophet, so shall you prosper. I want you to notice how we misread that verse so much. We, we think it says, believe the prophecies. It doesn't say believe the prophecies. It says, believe the prophets, so shall you prosper. And how can you believe in the prophet unless you have one in your life? And that's what I'm here for. I want to remind you that the sky isn't falling. I don't care what you see on the news and on the media. The sky isn't falling. The kingdom in your life, the kingdom is coming. This is Russ Walden with Father's Heart Ministry. Visit us at, again at fathersheartministry.net and take advantage of all the resources that are there to put you over in life. God bless you.